Jim, what do you think? This is uh, normally a situation where I'd expect you to be a calming uh, voice, but uh, things are a little hairier than they have been. Are we done yet? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's nerve wracking. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we're playing with a lot of technicals here that uh, we'll see if they lose support or not, Becky. And I'm worried about that too. Um, but I, I'm still a bull. I, I think that uh, this is a correction that we knew was going to come in this recovery at some point. And uh, after the run we had, we probably knew it was going to be a nasty one and scary one. And that's what we got going. And I think it's a, it's a good time to, to buy into this, even if it does go lower for a little while. I think it'll be higher before the year is out. Um, you know, this all comes down to the inflation rate. All the worries we have are tied to that, in my view, Becky. You know, we, it, we, if, if inflation moderates, we'll quit worrying about how high yields have to go or how much the Fed has to tighten or whether they're going to do a policy mistake or whether we're going to have a recession. A lot of those things will calm down. And I think, you know, today's wage number, again, at 5.5 percent, that, that makes it six months in a row where there's been no acceleration in wage inflation in this country. And also, uh, the labor force has grown at a 3% annualized pace in the last six months, which is wonderful. We, today, we've created 428,000 payroll jobs without lowering the unemployment rate. I, I, you know, that we're showing some supply side capacity showing up. So I think, I think the tightening is going to slow demand, which is happening, and supply is responding. And if inflation moderates, I think it's a great entry point here. Uh, if I think six months ahead for the stock market. I, I, I sense that you're feeling a little more nervous yourself, though, too. I, I just oh, admitting yeah. that this may not be the bottom. There could be more pain to come. Um, you're, I, you're certainly I, not I do. strident I, in your remarks. I, I, I do, Becky. I, I feel uh, nervous. You know, we've, we've got uh, a technical support. I thought we maybe bottomed earlier in March. And now we're back down here revisiting again. On the one hand, we've revisited this area five or six times now and held, which is pretty good news. But if you break that, we could go lower. But again, I'm not sure we'll stay there a long time, Becky. And uh, I, no one's going to time this all right. I'm certainly not. And I do think that when I look ahead to the end of the year, we'll be at a fairly high, higher levels than we are today, even if we go lower in the, in the interim. You know, even rates, I think it's very encouraging uh, that the two-year yield and is no longer pushing up the 10-year. I mean, the 10-year went above 3% yesterday, but the two-year yield still where it was 11, 12 trading days ago. It did not go to new highs yesterday. It was constantly pushing up longer yields. I think maybe a lot of the yield curve, one year at 2%, the two-year at two and three quarters, is, is starting to get comfortable with, with where it's priced relative to what the Fed's going to do in the next several months. And that's a good sign that maybe the rate route is pausing. That could be another thing, particularly if we get a good CPI read, for example, here in, in, a, in next week, uh, that could start to calm down anxieties right now. And if they uh, calm, I think there's a lot of upside given the earnings estimates just keep climbing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.